citizens, and welcome back to Clockwork Empires. Uh, last time around, we expanded our colony a little bit, but uh, not a huge amount of progress was made. But since then, uh, our, uh, our ceramics workshop is up and running, and, uh, and we're busy baking clay into, uh, into bricks, which will allow us to further extend our, uh, our number of buildings. So we've got, you know, our flax harvest is coming along. Uh, they're almost ready, which is going to allow us to make cloth, which will help to uh, extend the number of beds currently available. We've still got quite a lot of people dossing on the floor when it comes to sleep. Um, I mean, the good news is that, you know, uh, the kitchen's up and running, and we've actually got two staff working there now. So that's pretty helpful. Um, but, you know, it's... Uh, we could do with upping the tempo a little bit, and frankly, we need a we need some more immigrants in order for that to happen. Um, you know, it would be it would be quite nice to, to grab some extra, and maybe I'll I'll blow my prestige on that uh, next time I get the opportunity. I send my military after that uh, after that bison was that a bison? I guess. Go on, son, hunt them down. Don't get killed. Oh, it's an ore rock. Or something, or something. Don't don't run away from it. Shoot the thing. Anytime you like. Uh, my military is now three men strong, and uh, uh, just don't get don't uh, don't allow yourself to get gored by this beastie that we are attempting to uh, attempting to slay in order to get some meat on board. It's now running rampant around the entire town, basically harpooning anybody who is... How, how, how did you feel about that? Oh, he's, he's romantically inclined. Yes, he's, he's been running from danger. That's, that's his thing. Very bold, lads. Very bold. Oh, did we get it? Did we, did, was, was, that a, was that a takedown there? I'm, I'm guessing it was can't see anything but uh, I mean the, I mean the reason for putting yourself in harm's way in that fashion is uh, it's it's helpful with regards to uh, getting some meat on board so you can create some better food and frankly better food is well it's better food I mean what you know what more explanation do you need and of course the variety of food involved is also you know dead helpful uh, so I've got the convict crew are back again the old one left this is the new one and uh, what have we got here? Textile workshop needs crew. Hey, that's good to see. Uh, and I've currently, uh, where are we? Here we go. Uh, Mr. Smike, oh, Mrs. Smike, beg your pardon. Um, they're not allowed to work on the farm. Uh, they, we don't want them doing construction. We've got the mining and uh, and foraging and carrying and, f and and chopping down trees. All of that really terrible hard labour that my uh, my regular folk don't really want to do. You're a disgrace, Nerik. Oh, hello. What have we got? Albert Orlick has taken up a study of genealogy. Okay, so uh, well, enjoy that. Uh, so, good to know. Right, we need to get someone on duty here, but obviously it hasn't even got the workbench in there yet, so I'm not, I'm not that fussed. But hopefully there'll be uh, there'll be someone who's uh, who's available once they've got that built, and I'll be able to get uh, get cloth on the go. Uh, let's have a quick look at what we've got in store at the moment. So we've got 50 logs, that's good. 10 planks, also good. Some hermitite, some svalerite, uh, iron, copper. Not a great deal of either iron or copper, but we're going to go towards uh, having a uh, a metal workshop going on. A blacksmith, I guess you'd call it. Uh, sooner, sooner rather than later, so that we can, um, well, largely so that so that we can start getting those cots built. Now I'm going to change the or the priority order in the kitchen. Cabbage stew and lingonberry preserves I can live without when we've got steak available. Let's let's make steak a a, a relatively high priority. Uh, but actually, I want meat pie as a higher priority still. So I, I, effectively, what you, what you can do, you, you can decide, you know, what you should make first. So if I've got flour available, which if this uh, if this wheat crop survives, I will have uh, meat pies. I would imagine significantly more filling 
than steak alone. Uh, meat pie, please. And then I'm going to do the same again with beetle steaks. Something I imagine that's a, that's a little more for the uh, the desperate among my colonists. And again, I'm going to do the same with pumpkins and lingonberries uh, because I guess this, this interface needs a, needs a little bit of work. It's just a bit... Oh, okay. Okay, so it's uh, Albertine. Mr. Orlick has finished his uh, family tree and he's discovered that Marmaduke Hatcroft is a distant relative, which is pretty exciting stuff. All right, let's, let's stop fiddling with that for the moment. Are we there? We are there. Right, have I got a spare work crew? What have we got? Yes, Mr. Hatcroft. Right, let's... Uh, you're, you're about to become our, our weaver. Mr. Hatcroft. There you go. Keep me constantly stocked up with... Ten. There you go. So he's going to... He's gonna, go through flax like there's no... Oh, hold on. What's going on here? Spoiled crops. Hmm. Well, that shouldn't happen. Here we go. Here's the... Bad, bad cabbages going on. And there we go. We've got flax being harvested. That's excellent. That means we're going to be able to make some cloth, get more beds up and running, and then I can move to, to setting up with, uh, a, you know, middle class and, and upper class housing, uh, which, you know, all being well... Uh, will uh, will lead to a situation where uh, where people get a little bit higher uh, what's that morale happiness make them a bit more cheerful no nothing to harvest there at the moment now what I noticed uh, when I was poking around uh, we're at night at the moment so I hope you can make this out is we've got a fair few nodes of uh, of different uh, ores and what I've found previously is that these signs uh, above here indicate this would be a great place to put a mine and I am all about that so I'm gonna make that a, a, a pretty a pretty swift project but first let's get those surface nodes on the go and then let's uh, let's chop down the trees as well that's a big job that's gonna take a good few days for that to uh, for that to actually work but uh, but once it is We'll, uh, we'll be in business. Uh, hold on, what's going on here? Prashia Goldenton saw the glorious vision of a fish person and has taken to arguing with herself in a strange language. Well, that sounds helpful. Don't do anything anything more weird than that. That's not going to be uh, beneficial to the survival of the colony now, is it? Okay, so prestige is back up to two. That's not that's not a lot of prestige, if I'm honest. Yeah. Uh, more immigrants, send me immigrants. Right, where have they gone? So we don't want them on Mrs. Boothhook. Mrs. Boothhook is our uh, our construction chief. Uh, Mrs. Bootstrap is on farming, as is Mr. Goldensley, as is uh, no, no Mr. Ironson is doing whatever job comes to hand. Mr. Skelton is also farming. Uh, Mrs. Solder Snout Stout is, uh, I think she looks after, no, the kitchen is Mr. Steel Rivet. Mrs. Solder Stout is our carpenter. Now I could potentially, in fact, you know what? I'm gonna leave it as it is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let that, I'm just gonna let it happen. Although I do want to get uh, more people working in the kitchen pretty soon because uh, especially once the, the wheat harvest comes in is we're going to have a, a kind of a surplus of, uh, of, of, of wheat uh, which could be turned into bread, you know, fairly pronto, which would be helpful. So let's have a look and see what another cooker will run me. Uh, kitchen, please. Kitchen. This is this is the ceramics setup still. Uh, where are we? Kitchen, 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 kitchen. So iron oven or stone. I think we'll we'll stick with stone, but we'll bang another one in for the time being, just so that we can support three people in there. 
And then once I've got my iron workshop underway, hold on, what's this? Assemblage 14030 has been reacted. What's that? Something has been awoken. Well, that doesn't, that doesn't sound, in fact, we're tracking the something that has been awoken, but we can't, see. well, hold on. Bandits. Do I want to take them on? I've got three guys in the military, let's do them. All right, there's going to be a, there's going to be a rumble here. Right, now, where are they? Two brave, uh, two foolishly brave bandits from Leola's Free Crims have set out to plunder my my uh, settlement. Uh, I've got three lads in the uh, in the army, and so hopefully, let's get them up here. I'll set a waypoint as soon as I see one of these criminal chaps. There we, here there we go. Right, lads. Oh no, no, they're on it already. Okay, good. Now, of course, the good news if I actually take them out is. Uh, uh, no, I don't want to set. If I do take them out, I can, uh, you know, I can, I can take whatever uh, armaments they had on them. It looks like I've run them off. There we go. Sucks to be you, sunshine. Right, I suppose I. It's going to give me the option in a moment. Uh, I, I don't doubt it's going to give me the option in a moment. Yeah, no, you know what? Hunt him down. No? You're not going to hunt him down. Okay. Personally, I'd hunt him down. Uh, but, you know, I, don't, I, I leave these chaps to their own discretion. What are, what are you running from? What's, uh, what spooked you, friend? Who are you, even? Your Sylvester Bronze Hat. Uh, what have we got? He saw a horrible living monolith, the likes of which he'd never seen before. Oh. Oh, hold on. What's going on here? Bandit truce. Merriwether's nasty crew. Oh, that's a different group. Okay. Uh, yes, let's end the bloodshed. So, clearly, the, uh, the ruckus I had just now. Kill that beetle. Uh, you know, sent a very clear and clear and evident message that, you know, we are not to be trifled with. Chaps, do you want to shoot this beetle or what? Come on. There we go. Hmm. Alright, well, it's, it's all go. There, there more bandits. Six bandits have set up camp. Yikes. We'll we'll continue continue with our current policy there, I think. Okay, so we got someone chopping down trees. It's I silk this Mr. Bronze Hat, who uh, who not moments ago was running away from a mysterious living monolith. Uh well, good luck, you brave and foolish individual. I I, I hope things work for you well. I'm I'm not gonna watch. Uh, let's butcher that. Quite why we've got a stack of bricks in the food shed, I don't know. Oh, nice find there, Del, but that looks like actual steak. Someone's going to be pleased. Right, I think my construction is largely under control. We're still, you know, we're, we're gradually knocking these beds out a bit at a time. But, uh, actually, it occurs to me that, that perhaps a graveyard would be a, a sensible investment at this time. I can't see it being too long before I start to lose, uh, lose merry colonists. There we go, let's build a, a ruddy great graveyard up there. And then, uh, whoa, hey, whoa, 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 why is everybody spooked? What? Talk to me. She seems rather unhinged. Everybody just became unhinged. What? 
Oh. They, they, they decided to eat parts of this chap who came to raid the colony. Well, that's... Uh, okay. That's... What, what now? Zora Solders Stout has changed the name of their workshop to the Stygi Stygian Horrifying Moor. Okay. Um, Alright, if you say so. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't see any particular harm in that, I suppose. Yes. Okay, so that's still the pleasing kitchen. That's good. The the okay. So the carpentry workshop is now the Stygian uh, horrifying moor. Uh, oh, and uh, Horatio Goldensley has joined the fellowship of the sunken master. The sunken master doesn't sound you know friendly. Who else? Here's Sylvester. He's he's just kind of kicking it out in the wild there, despite bad things. Oh, a new cult has been formed. Okay, so, you know, those of you who wanted, uh, you know, the strange and baffling nonsense to start turning up, it, it looks like you're not going to have to wait very long. Right, let's, uh, let's put our, uh, is it, you know, let's, let's, let's put aside any concerns for the moment and uh, let's get our metalworking arena up. Loading door out the front. And I like to give them a, a door to another area. I'll probably put a, a middle-class house in there somewhere to make people cheerful. Uh, right, now, we need... In order to do stuff with, uh, you know, with metals that you might dig out of the ground or whatever, you firstly need to make charcoal. So we'll run a, a stone charcoal kiln. And then a stone smelting crucible. Now both of those are incredibly low tech and they're not going to, you know, they're really not going to do the job in the long term. But I don't have the choice right now. So uh, it's it's just gonna have to it's gonna have to be what it is. Alright, good, let's get that one on, on underway. And it was going so well. Uh, I can't help but think that we had a a, a night of, of, of great disaster going on there. What are you, what are you talking... Oi, aristocrat, don't be disrupting the harmonious operation of my people. Why can't I click on you? Flaming aristocrats. I mean, I can mark him for frontier justice if I, if I so wish, but... Uh, Frankly, that's not going to make me uh, many friends back at court. Where, 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 what are you doing? Get out of the kitchen. My, my farmers seem to be moving in something with something of a, you know, a, a lackadaisical kind of a fashion at the moment, and, and that's not ideal either. I think I'm going to have to assign more people to farming. Looks like you've seen the last of at least one group of fish people. Well, that's, that's something, I suppose. I d to be honest, I've, I've never had too much trouble with the fish people. Um, occasionally they'll come in and get all rowdy, but you can just scare them off. Who have we got out here? Well, I've got a couple of people now working out in the forested area. And once this is clear, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick a mine in here, and hopefully that will, uh, that will provide me everything I need. In fact, let's get the, the, the criminal work crew back again. Uh, yeah, hopefully that'll give me everything I need in order to, uh, uh, to, to keep myself fully fitted out with, uh, with new gear. I, mean, I don't really want you working on, on construction. Is that, uh... What are you doing? Constructing a building. Don't, I don't want you constructing buildings. I don't want you farming. Go find some some tree chopping or a bit of mining, that kind of stuff. That's that's all useful. I don't want you on farming. Construction. You have to stay on top of this. There's there's no uh, there's no way to set defaults, uh, which is well. I mean, it's it's. I could argue it either way, really. But uh, but I would quite like to be able to set defaults. This is what you get, Bandit. 
we will be uh, we will be nicking your uh, your rifle in due course. And you know, there's another dead one. I hope my the rest of my civilians don't get too hungry. Otherwise, you know, they'll be eating that as well. Okay, I think that'll probably wrap it up for this time. Um, okay, so, you know, progress is continuing. I, I do worry about these cults that have uh, started to emerge. But we're finally getting to the point where we've got beds for people to sleep in. I mean, it's, it's only taken, where are we, ten days in. Um, yeah, I, I could be better, I suppose. Um, but yeah, I, you know, beds, beds make people cheerful, and, uh, and that's all good. I need to get my farming up to speed, though, because clearly we are not generating enough food. Someone butcher this flaming beetle. At least we can make some beetle steaks. Oh, hello. It looks like we've got flour. There we go. So we've got flour. So we've got bread. Hey, good. All right, that is a good place to leave it. Uh, next time around, we'll get metal up and going. I'll set a mine in motion, and uh, and then we'll start to uh, to arm people up more significantly. Anyway, that'll wrap it up for this time. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch up with you very soon. Cheerio. This.